two fellas hop in the pickup and travel the country hunting white-tailed deer. This is Buck Truck. Illinois. It's what my childhood dreams were made of. Watching hunting TV in the 90s and 2000s, it seemed this state was always producing giant bucks. We'll be hunting right on the border of Wisconsin with our buddy Isaac Smith of Method Archery. But first, we have to stop and catch some Z's in St. Louis. Isaac's calling. Do what? Isaac's calling. What's up, man? Ah, it's good, man. What's what's up? Oh no. Oh. Hold on. Let me put KC. Let me put you on speaker so KC can hear you. All right, go ahead. All right. I was just uh, just got off the phone with uh, somebody from the tree farm. I guess we're not going to be able to have access to exactly the whole farm because some of the guys who hunted there for 20 years got wind that we were given permission and i think the landowner just they don't quite uh understand you know how like people get territorial about their spots and stuff so i guess they went and kind of divided up the farm and we're like we're gonna hunt here you can hunt over there I think they're they're probably taping off a bunch of the sections that we were excited about, but um, yeah, we're it's gonna be fairly limited what we can hunt. Well, yeah, and I I talked to the landowner about it, and I just I just felt in my gut like oh, this is not something we push on, then we might not be welcome at all. So yeah, yeah. I understand that. It's just it it hurts, you know, but. Yeah, I don't care to get in a fight about deer hunting. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just want to go have some fun. I think there's fun to be had on the farm still. Um, in fact, we did have some fun on the farm last summer. Are we dope? Should have extra. Yeah. Okay, so we just need to go pick it up. I don't have to nope. convey this to people. That's better. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you just got to find it in the yard. Well, you know, sometimes people in northern Illinois don't really speak my language. You know what I mean? <laughs> they have a real hard time understanding no, I don't, me. I don't, I don't, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You've been knowing some for a while. Yeah, I uh, at the tree farm every summer they do a summer camp event for a, a week for a hundred or so uh, underserved kids from the community, and so I started volunteering at that summer camp. You know, early in high school, did it for many years. Met my wife there, and. Uh, we ended up very involved with the family that owns the farm uh, through church and stuff for many years. So they're good family friends, you know. It takes a lot of trust, I guess, to let somebody come kill stuff on your property. So, yeah. They haven't allowed gun hunting in, like, I don't know, it sounds like 50, 60 years. So it's very exciting. Be cool. The potential yeah. is very high. The potential's high. After we worked on the barn, we transitioned from horses to deer and walked the property. What's that? 
We left Illinois to soak up a couple more months of the Texas summer heat. Excited about what a harvest moon might do for us when we get back to the Prairie State. It, it's going to be fine. We're going to have fun and shoot some deer, dude. Yep. Yep, right on. Cool. Well, we'll see you in a few hours. All right. All right, dude. All right. Bye. See you. Ooh. This is supposed to be some outdoor TV, big deer type Head of stuff coming. right here, wasn't it? But I haven't got to hunt private ground in so long. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna end up hunt, we're gonna end up killing deer on public ground, aren't we? I don't know. Well, let's look at, look at the map. I mean, there may be some stuff still, but I would assume that they have got the best spots picked out. All I know, Dad, gumming is we're about to kill some big old bugs. Let's go. <laughs> This young fool thinks he can take I think the I one. know. The cheapest one. Yeah, that's these. 488. These are five dollars. Except he wants to fit in. It's street ball. Suddenly we find out that pretty much all our trail cameras are in spots that are now roped off from us, so our plans change drastically. After riding the struggle bus for 24 hours straight, uh, okay. I decided I had to go have a chat with the landowner. Weather sucks. What's up? Come on in. Hi, man. I'm fired up. Oh, we got permission on the whole place. What? We have permission on the whole place. Tree what farm? are you talking about? The, the whole farm. Know. Tree farm? The whole tree farm. When did you just... Did you yeah, let's go! Like let's go to Dave. Dave? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What the heck? We're going hunting! <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah! Hey. That's crazy! Hey. Hey, give me that, dude. Yeah. Okay, what happened? He led with like, I'm glad this all came to a head, is what he said. Really? Yeah. So, he's uh, happy about it. Y'all say I love you. I'm here. cold now. <laughs> <laughs> what if I go to T-Bell and get a bunch of tacos? Oh my God. Despite finding a ton of sign, we saw zero deer the next morning in our newly unlocked spots. All right, so as you can see, the game is fixing to commence. Oh, look, oh, there he goes, that, there he goes, look. Ah. Oh! We've got GoPros on the heads here. Michael's complaining that it's definitely gonna affect his balance. No, no it's just a little heavy. It's a little heavy. Okay, this one's... And uh, the rims appear to be about nine foot, so this ought to be a good match. We're gonna play to 11. I'm gonna shoot for possession, okay? Uh, since Eric has been around the longest, if I make it, Eric gets ball. Clark. If I miss it, Michael gets ball first. Make it, take it, Dang. are the rules. We're playing to 11, call your own foul. Yeah. Yeah. Check up. All right, let's go. Is he gonna let me shoot? Oh. Ah. He's guarding out, dude. Hey, I 
lost the GoPro. <laughs> Forgot to say what what uh, Eric wins. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Courtesy of Jamichael. A lot of money. I can't afford forty dollars in Taco Bell. All right. What's the uh, what's the victory drink? What is orange soda? Oh. Mm. It's like orange Gatorade, but with carbonation, so it feels real good. You okay? You want some? No. <laughs> no, I don't want any, Eric. I felt pretty good about where I'm going. I just kind of hope that um, when I get in there, there's some rubs and scrapes, you know what I mean? There's a lot of hope involved with hunting up here in late October. There is, man. You just make the best, most educated decision you can and then see if it works or not. Yeah. But you don't see what happens. You usually don't. We've had quite the amount of events go on through this whole process of getting permission and not having it, getting it again. The rain, cold temps, hot temps, everything. It's just been up and down. Kind of a cliche, but it has. I'm not feeling too optimistic right now uh, but I'm feeling more optimistic than I did yesterday or this morning probably this is a great farm it should have deer we have not seen hardly anything they're combining down there by KC you can probably hear in the background if you listen thinking that could be a good thing there's a chance that you see the deer of your dreams we got great habitat around us corn still standing right here we're super remote nobody comes over here Michael saw the broke bean buck. I thought he might have. Good thing all your stuff's in a tree on the That's opposite That's exactly side of the what I said. <laughs> You're gonna have to kill him in the morning. <laughs> okay. I wonder, is he gonna approach that same bed the same way he left with a east wind, or is he gonna wanna come right here and go in? Let's eat some dinner and talk about it. I would get somewhere I could see, and I would rattle. I don't know if that's what you like the idea of or not. I just like the idea of seeing deer, for sure. I don't know that any other way of hunting is better. I really do want to see a buck, though. It's cold, calm, and clear as Casey and I set out for the seventh and final day of the hunt. Thank you. 
shot him right there, but it's probably 50. It's a long shot, it's part of the moment. That's definitely the crossing though. We're gonna look at some trees down here and see if it makes sense to set up here tonight. Casey's also given me other ideas, so gotta process all this and go get a, some caffeine and think about it. What camera was that on the north camera? On your camera, that uh, scrape cam. He was on it this morning. It went all the way back up there. Uh-huh. It's a long ways. About 800 yards. Still pretty foot long ways. So I don't, I don't know, so, those deer are moving for sure. I just wonder, did, and he bedded right in there? Where y'all are at? No, he came to a grunt and then came back to rattling later. So I think he's the- he, he, he left, like he didn't bed while y'all uh -uh. were I don't. I don't think he was gonna bed. I thought that's what he was doing when he first came up because he's being kind of cautious and he was just like sticking uh, to the willows right there. But I think it's just because he's a two-year-old. I don't know if I'm gonna go sit where we sat this morning tonight, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. It's not a bad spot, but it's not the best. I think you could kill the same deer from that tree and you're gonna go do it, unless you want to do something different. I don't know, it's gonna be hard for me not to go back and sit where we were this morning after seeing two bucks. I know. We'll do it. Last hunt. You gotta you gotta feel good about it. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't. I can't believe you guys are getting skunk so hard. All right, here we go. Last hunt. Gonna get aggressive. Try to get in this thick of this stuff, this swamp back here. Make something cool happen. Casey's going after that deer that I was chasing earlier in the hunt. Hoping that he shows up, but he's willing to shoot anything back in there. It's kind of a bedding island, also in a swamp on the other side of the farm. And Isaac is hunting with us, but he's hunting in Wisconsin. So something cool may happen there too. We're gonna bike in here and give her one more good shot. We got a southeast wind, it's real light right now. It's gonna be super quiet this evening. So hopefully we can find a tree that uh, you know, won't shake too bad and we can get shots down into the brush and stuff. So who knows what's fixing to happen, but we're gonna give it one more good hard shot.
bugs with all the limbs that you're kind of breaking and the scurrying up the tree or whatever you're doing. That's exactly what happened. Eric spotted that bug as he was getting set. We're finishing our setup. We just saw him cross the creek down there. He's on our side of the creek now, I guess. And uh, there's a chance he's coming around to get our wind. I mean, this stuff is so thick. But ideally, he just comes straight to us. And maybe there's a shot at like three yards here. But I was really hoping he would go back in their bed and then come out. Give me a shot out here in this opening behind me, but... Meanwhile, things are getting pretty interesting over in my neck of the woods.
did he just fall right there? About to go pick up Tyler. He doesn't know anything really about what happened. He just knows I shot a deer and that we think it's down. Very famous words of Kyle Jones. Is he <laughs> dead or not? I'll give you a 95% 95, sure. How does that I sound? I like that a lot, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's go, dude. Thanks, man. Good Bef stuff. Before we celebrate, let's go put hands on him. I'm about eating pizza already. <laughs> we are going to actually eat some pizza here in a second. But that's just because we got to have supper, right? We can get our celebratory pizza tomorrow. That, that sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to throw this in the back. Okay. Bit. Oh, no bag. Dude, tell me about it. Oh, my goodness. Guess what? Uh, on the clock face, I shot this deer at from, from a set. You know, so 12 o'clock noon is looking at the tree, right? Uh -huh. Shot this deer at 5. I'm going to be honest, it's not my proudest shot. He's a lot, he was a lot closer than I thought he was. And wow. there was no way for me to range. How far do you think he was? I thought he was 32 or three and he's probably 20. So I hit him Quite very high. high. Mm -hmm. But it's lethal and effective, uh, I'm, but I'm sorry it happened the way it did. I don't think the deer cared one way or another because he's dead and it didn't hurt any worse than it would have otherwise. Yeah. But it's one of those things where like, it just looks weird, yeah. you know? It's not sure. what you're trying to do, but it's the reality of bow hunting, man. Uh, my bow is on the ground out here. Okay, I'm gonna get it right quick. Get my whole bow hiking. And he said, boys, I'm not turning. I'm headed for a land that's far away. 
beyond the crystal fountain. <laughs> so come with me, we'll go and see. People. Come on, you got no salt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold the celebratory pizza. Pizza, pizza. I'm so glad you killed a duck. <laughs> well, because I'm eating pizza right now. I know we wanted to mm. eat pizza. Okay. Swamp donk. Golly, man. That dude's been dead for a minute. He has. He died right there. We got him, guys. Oh, yes, man. That makes me so happy. That's awesome, dude. That gun bullheaded. Swamp toad. The left side is big, dude. Yeah, the left side's big. Crap, man. <laughs> okay, let's get him over there so that for the. <laughs> He's a stud. Wow. Definitely work, uh, worth uh, building a horse barn for. Is that where you hit him with the broadhead? Probably. Is it cut off right there? Yep, it's sharp. Sure enough. Almost knocked an inch off with right the broadhead. Right there. Cut the end of <laughs> Now, Isaac, that's what a VBS will do for you. <laughs> Slice, Slice antlers. Dang, dude, he was like <laughs> a, at least four inches longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you spent much time watching hunting shows back in the day, then you might feel like Illinois is a dream hunt destination. And in some senses it is. It's beautiful, great weather, and there are giant deer around. However, it's no walk in the park, and this week proved that to us. Honestly, I probably got to thinking I was a better deer hunter than I actually am. This is one of those deer, at the risk of sounding cliche, I'm going to call a team buck. It took everything we had to find success here. A ton of brainstorming, extra scouting, and a high level of selflessness on everyone's part. Ultimately, it was a blessing from above to get a shot at this deer. The placement of the arrow was far from perfect. But I do rest easy knowing, as a hunter, I do everything I can to develop a mastery of my equipment. I'm thankful that the shot was lethal and expiration came quick. Every buck I shoot comes with a slew of mental notes, and this one wrote a whole chapter in my catalog that's titled Perseverance. I'm blessed for being the guy who got to loose an arrow, but we all worked hard. 
for this one. I can't believe that's how I killed that deer. This buck is ours. Okay.